I've really missed this. Haven't had any opportunities lately to get out in the woods. This is the first time in I don't even know how many months. That's one of the only true drawbacks of moving from Prince George to Victoria as far as I'm concerned. It's just not as easy to find spots out in the woods anymore. Um, a lot of the areas here are private property and you have to get you have to drive a little further out. I mean there are the parks of course but it's just not the same. Uh, and the other thing is housing market. Oh man prices are insane here. I mean BC British Columbia stands for bring cash anyway but <laughs> here even worse. Not quite as bad as lower mainland Vancouver but it's still pretty bad. Um, Either way, so I just got done doing some blade tests, which I wasn't too happy with the conditions because it is really dark in here. Um, it's I came here I think around two or so, like between one and two in the afternoon, and uh, it was already dark <laughs> because it's very overcast, and um, yeah, not ideal for recording, but. I have to take the chances when I get them. Either way, I didn't realize just how much I missed this. There is something about being out here that is really you know, recharging. I'm sure many of you know that effect too. When you when you get out of the city for the first time in a while, and it's just you're you're kind of you take in the air and uh, the the quiet. Uh, the stillness. There's just something really refreshing about it, and um, it's also a way to to get distracted from any everyday worries that you may have, or at least that's the case for me. I don't tend to think about trivial stuff and and everyday stresses and things of that nature when I'm out here. I'm just I tend to be in a more I don't know, philosophical mood, I guess? Ponderous, or however you want to put it. Um, thoughtful, mindful. That's probably the best way to put it. Because it's so easy in everyday life to get bogged down and distracted by all the little things you have to take care of and, and you know, deadlines and, and to-do lists and various things. Whereas out here, it's an it's a chance to think a bit more about the other sides of life and death too. I mean, you can think about all kinds of things, and um, it's really good to to take that break occasionally. Man, that's steep here. <laughs> I don't want to face plant on video. That would be glorious, wouldn't it? Although you probably. Wouldn't see too much, it would just the camera would just be the camera going <laughs> like some some motion blur and then it's in the earth and I'm just cursing and groaning and stuff. <laughs> Might still be entertaining, but um sorry I don't I don't put that kind of self-destructive effort into entertaining you. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that on purpose, especially since I could if I if I roll down here that's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna be a fun time for sure. It's not exactly what falls under work safety. <laughs> How many of you uh, remember this kind of crap <laughs> a couple of years ago? I, I used to make this kind of video more often. Uh, this kind of vlog of going hiking through the woods and doing various shenanigans while uh, thinking out loud basically, talking about all kinds of stuff. Um, I kind of would like to do that a little more, but then again, I remember I said this not too long ago and not too much came of it. It's just, uh, well, ties in again with this everyday routine kind of stuff where I go, okay, so I still have this blade and that to review and this. You know, all these videos on the to-do list, and I better get to it, and, you know, don't get too sidetracked and whatnot. But, yeah, 
guess that's the thing when when uh, you're not a pure vlog channel, I suppose. <laughs> All right, that'll be easier now. So how have you guys been doing? Everything going well, hopefully. Uh, have you been bogged down in everyday stress and stuff? Can you get out in the woods or on the beach or, or something? Some place to recharge? No, wait, that's not good. Partially obscuring the camera there. Now, do you have a space, uh, a spot that you can go to to recharge and think about the world and your life and everything? more deeply. I feel like, especially on the internet, there is a tendency for lots of knee-jerk reactions and superficial thoughts. Uh, actually, give me a moment, this is a tricky spot. I want to slide down here. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot easier to get up. But down is tricky, especially since it's a little moist. All right, there we go. Just want to make sure I don't slide down here on my ass. That would not have been the most pleasant experience. So, uh, where was I? <laughs> All right, it took me a moment to rediscover my train of thought. So, what I mean by superficial thinking is that a lot of the things you're exposed to on the internet are meant to cause this knee-jerk reaction. Like, you're not supposed to think too deeply about it. You're supposed to fall into certain categories of thinking, like, uh, for example, political, you know, anti-liberal, anti-conservative, or anti-what-have-you. Anti is a big thing nowadays. Well, I mean, it, it used to be in earlier times as well, but just it's packaged differently nowadays, I would say. And... The media, of course, sensationalist media, are always trying to get this this quick, intense, and not very well thought out reaction. At least that's how I see it. Maybe you have a different kind of outlook, but it seems to me that that's really what it's all about. And also, then there is all the you know, mindless entertainment as well, of course, on the internet. There's you know memes and cat pictures and and fail videos and all this. This trivial bullshit, I mean, there's nothing wrong with entertainment, even if it's trivial. I mean, I do some of that here, too. Uh, so, people are critical to, to uh, argue too much against entertainment. N not everything has to be deep and, and thoughtful all the time, but, you know, at the same time, we're, if you're bombarded with that constantly, it's, it's just, you're going the, the easy path of less cognitive engagement and that, that made me sound like a total egghead. But, you know, you're, you're thinking less deeply about things and more, you know, visceral in your response or just shutting off, which, you know, can be a good thing. If, for example, you have a, a very, a job that is very engaging intellectually, you have to think a lot, then, yeah, that may be exactly what you need. You know, you just get back home and you just start looking at, you know, funny, trivial stuff, but uh, at the same time, it is really nice to get out here sometimes and get a different perspective, get away from all of that, you know, even better if you have like a cottage somewhere out and you can you know, stay away from all of that for a while longer and then you, the, the upside is also that then you appreciate certain things more when you come back. That's what we always experienced after, come, uh, Cara and I, I mean, after coming back from a camping trip. And it's like, oh, my bed, it's so comfortable. And, uh, you know, it's warm, it's not wet and miserable, <laughs> all of that. But, you know, I, I, I'm sure you get where I'm going here. So uh, let's let that be enough for two days, blah, blah. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching.